Happy Wednesday, witches. I hope it's amazing and you're feeling strong and you're feeling free and you're feeling yourself, honey. I hope it's beautiful. And if it ain't, it can always get better, right? So let's talk about salt lamps, baby. Oh, there's all kind of stuff about salt lamps. You see they're good and they're bad in the same stroke. So let's talk about lamps, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things that we do to stay happy. Let's talk about lamps. Let's talk about lamps. Yeah, I do that stuff all the time. Okay, so salt lamps. Uh, you can see multiple benefits and you can also see warnings. <laughs> Lordy. Okay. Salt lamps are wonderful for air purification to help de dehumidify. Uh, they bring the energy down to a calm level. Their light is soft and gentle. Uh, it's full of minerals. So it's overall, it's good for your well-being, both physically and psychologically, spiritually. They're, they're wonderful. I love them. I have one in every room and I have had these same lamps uh, for, oh God, probably over 15 years, probably closer to 20 years. And it's in perfect shape, as you can see. And I will tell you why. Um, so there's the good things. Uh, changes positive ions into negative ions, which is what's, I guess I might have that backwards. Yeah, I think I got that right. Which is wonderful for our body and our environment as well discharges uh like static electricity and like the high charge like negative vibrations and energies in the room i feel like and then some of the negatives people are saying about it is that uh it's dangerous and deadly for animals and that it has deadly chemicals and fluoride and stuff like that in there okay so Listen to me when I say this to you, okay? One, please make sure that you have a Himalayan salt from the Himalayan mountains that does not have fluoride or preservatives on it or in it. As far as you can tell, ask questions, look up information, ask about origins, look up origins. Anything you buy in your home that would be you breathing in, you're putting on your skin or you're eating, please make sure it's safe for you as, as much as possible that's number one number two okay if your animal is licking the salt such as cats and dogs can get salt poisoning easily if they're licking the lamp take them to the vet or change their food they are lacking nutrition okay okay i've got animals of different ages that have tests like i do i lick my say make sure yeah that's salt so I test it, any Himalayan products that I get to make sure it's real salt and it's not deadly. But they they might lick it to test it, just that, and like you did, oh, that's salt. And they shouldn't do that any more than once, okay, just to test it. But if they're, if you see them licking it and like actually enjoying it and whatnot, like licking it, they do need to see a vet or they're lacking in their nutrition. That is why they, they will do that. Like, But livestock such as, you know, cattle and uh, deer and whatever, they will lick salt. their salt blocks that are put out there, Himalayan salt blocks, on purpose because of the minerals. So as far as your domesticated in-home animals, if they're licking it a lot, they are lacking nutrition or needs to see a vet, okay? <sighs> Number two, this is Salem's personal salt lamp she has never licked it but she does cuddle with it because it's warm and she rubs on it because she rubs on everything she likes especially crystals and it has not made her sick because it is a natural non-preservative himalayan salt lamp she's never licked it i have a 17 year old cat that used to lick it every now and again not often just and he's fine he has no problems or chemical toxicity from this okay so as that should relieve you and make you feel a little better and also give you some things to think about always do your research i say this constantly so salt lamps are safe but if they're licking it you they there is something wrong 
and none of my animals have ever had a problem ranging from one species to the next. They they don't lick it because they do have a healthy balanced diet. So, salt lamps are wonderful for you, but can be bad for your pets. It, you, they may need to see a vet or they have nutritional issues. But they're wonderful other than that. Now, uh, another negative that people like to say is they'll melt. You can't, you know, they cause fire, blah, blah, blah. Again, these are almost 20 years old. I have several different ones. They've never once caused a problem. They've never had an electrical issues. They take very little power. I leave them on 24-7. I do want you to watch yours and make sure that you're home when you buy any electrical item. Uh, ex the exception will be for this one. But make sure you're with it the first 24 hours if it's staying on so that you can make sure that it is safe. If you're worried about it, turn it off when you leave or off at night, okay? But they need to run at least 8 hours a day or yes, they can melt because they're not evaporating the humidity in your room and it's salt so it's going to collect it if they're off but they are designed and are supposed to stay on all the time or at least eight hours plus so if you have reservations it's okay to turn them off for a little while but especially if it's get damp they need to be on the reason people's salt lamps do melt and might have um, melting issues if it is on is because of the light you're using they need a hot bulb okay when you're changing the bulb or messing with any internal electronics, please make sure it's off. Hopefully unplugged would be best because sometimes when you turn them off or the light bulb show, you can't tell, but they're really on. Most of them come like this. See, it's just, just a block of salt with a piece of wood drilled into it, okay? And it has like prongs like this that you fold in and you slide it in to however deep you want. Try not to touch the salt with this. Ooh. Or your oils, because oils can make the bulb go out earlier. I need to get an alcohol swab now. Don't touch the bulb with your bare fingers if you can help it, because the oils can make it go out faster. This is a wax warmer bulb. It is called E12 for this base, uh, and E12 comes in a couple of different types. I get the hottest and the highest one I can. And you make sure it's off, make sure it's unplugged, screw it in there, and then slide it back in plug it in turn it on and now i'm going to look bad because i might have done something to it so that's how it is the reason that your lamps are probably melting is because you have the inappropriate bulb for it it needs a hot bulb a and and these are called wax warmer bulbs over here they are hot like the old night light bulbs right they'd burn if you touch them okay so, and then you just want to slide it back in there. Boop. I test and make sure the light comes on before I put it in my lamp, especially if you're changing or whatever. And then there you go. So, salt lamps are groovy. Uh, have common sense with everything. Make sure you have hot bulbs. Mine are called wax warmer bulbs down here uh, that fit your base. Watch them if they're new for, make sure you're home and you can see it and make sure it's not causing electrical issues because all electronics can fail. I unplug everything except these if I'm not using it. That's the only thing that runs 24-7 except for, for my refrigerator or the air conditioner because I'm in Florida. So, there's just some stuff on the salt lamps. Let's bust them miss. They're cool. And today we're smoking, what is this? Oh, Northern Hash Plant. It's supposed to be an indica dominant. I, I'm not sure if it's a hybrid or not, but you can always learn anything you need to know about any cannabis strain on leafly.com, L-E-A-F-L-Y.com. Type in northern hash plant. Check this sucker out. I would say this one has definitely a strong indica feeling. It makes your body relaxed. It makes your mind slow down. Medicinally for me, I feel it. I have nerve issues. I feel it calming down the nerve signals and relaxing the stress and the constant agitation of my nerves. I feel it in my upper body where a lot of my pain and issues are centered in my skeleton. So, um, definitely upper body sensation and relaxation. It goes all the way through, but it's very strong in the upper body for me. This one will help you go to sleep at night. It's very relaxing, makes your body and your muscles relax. Um, it's low THC, 
So it's not that strong. Just be careful though. In every new one you try, especially medicinal, it's medicinal they're very strong. So it's a uh, it's kind of earthy, kind of dirt taste. <laughs> I like the sweet fruity flavors myself. But this one's kind of got a dirt taste. It does make my um, throat sore when I smoke it and my eyes dry out and my mouth dry out. So it's kind of drying on the mucous membranes. As far as spiritually and metaphysically connected, I feel it connects to the uh, some stomach or solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the third eye chakra. It's, so it's an upper the upper chakras is what it feels like it's connecting with on me so it is and it's strongly in the harsh chakras area so that's the northern hash plan and what I'm enjoying today and uh, we're always using crystals and colors to manifest what we need to do and help us along with our energetic signature into the universe and request that assistance so today I'm using purple and gold because purple and gold is a higher crown chakra um, color scheme and it is a it is royalty has been associated with it riches wealth and plenty has been associated gold is wonderful if you're manifesting for monetary issues and any kind of wealth purple to me is like my personal power color I love purple I think it's very soothing to me I think it's very strong in a delicate way so I'm needing that kind of power to manifest uh, monetary issues because you know I have animals to support and things of that nature that need medicine so I'm looking to help myself with manifestation and energetically speaking and oh of course you got to do the work behind it and whatever in the real world but in your 2d dimension but we're using color schemes for money manifestation so I'm wearing green jade and jade and all of your green stones our jade and all of your green stones are wonderful for any money manifestation. It's also the color of wealth, health, well-being, Mother Earth. And then we've got the evil eye, which is a protection charm to protect all that would take from me and to protect any blockages in any manifestations of the money. And, of course, it's got the pentacle on the back with runes as a blessing and protection as well. And I've always gotten my um I always got my onyx on for protection as well. And that's to protect me and lover as a couple because it's on the wedding ring. So these are the colors and the crystals I'm using to also manifest the needs I need in a monetary situation. So now you got a little tidbits and a little snippet of this, that, and we learned about salt lamps. We know what we're smoking today, and I'm hoping you're having a wonderful Wednesday. I hope to see you again. Bye.